Hi Internet, Ark speaking, Sound. In video games, sound can be just as important as visual stimuli, as it allows games to give players information without taking their eyes off criteria. Now games that people think of when we talk about good audio are probably shooters or VR games, maybe to summon the no, esports titles or speed ones. But what about a game like Mario Kart, in particular, Mario Kart Wii? I've always stood by the fact that unless you want to listen to your own Spotify playlist or you find Daisy's belching distracting, there are no downsides to playing with game audio. But many people still do anyway, so I'm here to tell you why you should be playing with game audio, and if you do, what to look out for when playing with game audio. Now there are three types of sound in Mario Kart Wii. Awareness sound, timing sound, and informational sound. Not including music, I guess that would technically be four. We'll start with the first and most apparent. You could hear other people. It's not foolproof, sometimes players will come out of nowhere and shroom right into you. But if you've ever driven in real life, you'll know how important it is to create a bubble around you. So that way you could pinpoint where everyone else is relative to you. It's the same idea in Mario Kart Wii, except you use the minimap, sound, and your rearview mirror. Actually, that's kind of similar. While talking about situational awareness, projectiles. You could hear bananas, shells of both kinds, fake item boxes, and bombs being thrown your way. I will admit this one is a little more situational, but if you listen carefully, you can not only hear what is coming your way, but distinguish what kind of projectile it is. For instance, Projectiles like red shells have a distinct siren sound as they run across the ground, which changes to a warning sign if it's going after you. Greens are more like a droning sound, and bananas, bombs, and fibs have a throw sound effect. Some people claim that they could hear the fuse on a bomb when thrown, but I couldn't find any footage that supports that. So what I recommend is if you're in a mid-spot and you hear someone throw something at you, it's most likely a bomb, and if you're in a higher spot, then imagine that it's a fib, because a fib has a bigger hitbox than a banana. The next type of classification sounds are timing sounds. These include things like being able to hear when the bill is about to drop you, hearing for how long stars and megas last, and if you want to go a little bit more technical, you could time things like startup boosts, when a drift is about to come out, and wheelie chains. Going in the order that we listed them out, if you've watched my Bullet Bills item focus video, you'll know that Bullet Bills do not have a consistent time of how long they last. However, what is consistent is the fact that when the bill is about to drop you, it changes pitch from its normal bullet sound to a more whining smoky sound. Also, I don't know if this is true or not, but I couldn't find the audio file for when the bullet bill is slowing down. So how I made that sound that you just listened to was I reversed the audio clip and I also sped it up. Which, after hearing it, I'm 99% positive. That's how the game does it as well. But I just want to say I'm not 100% on that. Now for stars, when you use a star, you'll hear that it has two different segments of the song. There's a higher pitch beat and then a lower pitch beat. Assuming you don't chain, a star will last 3 high beats and 2 low beats. Trying to explain how long a mega will last is a little bit more tricky, as it's actually an entire song. Here's what the audio cue sounds like, and how far it lasts. Don't worry about the mega too much, you'll get a feel for it the more you play. The last thing I want to cover in the timing category are wheelie chains. Now I have to admit, I am not good at wheelie chains. I like to brush that up to the fact that I don't really time trial much, but that's just an excuse. So while I'm practicing my chains, here's what to listen for. Whenever you're in a wheelie, the bike makes a interesting wind sound. I think most people call it a swish. A single wheelie will have 6 swishes in its life cycle, assuming, of course, you don't touch anything. Using that, we could time when we need to chain another wheelie with a decent level of accuracy. Finally, the last category of sounds are informational sounds. For Mario Kart, those are pretty minor things. That would be things like being able to hear what type of road you're on, 
being able to hear whether the timing roulette is being slowed down, Lakitu telling you what lap it is, those kind of things. They're important, but you're not supposed to be actively thinking about it. You're just supposed to receive that information and instinctively use it. And just like me learning how to chain wheelies, this takes practice. If you want to get better at the game, you have to play the game. So keep practicing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let YouTube and me know by liking, commenting, subscribing, all the YouTube stuff. And if you're feeling extra generous, why don't you drop by my Twitch page where we do daily live streams of what it's like to be a competitive Mario Kart Wii player. Happy racing.